repeat it the month before the Rams go out and the month the Rams are in and then it stops and then it starts again two months before they the first lamb is supposed to drop. It's, uh, before breeding is for flushing to produce more to reuse drop more eggs and before landing it's to uh, provide them with some extra energy. Each youth gets approximately half a pound of corn. So this is how we feed our corn to the sheep. They get fed corn once a day with their hay. Growing our own feed is not only satisfying, it keeps our sheep feed costs down. Tyler, talk to us about why we made the change from feeding just hay to feeding hay and corn silage to the beef herd. Uh, the main one would be so that we don't have to produce as much hay and it hugely reduces our amount for hay and we can mix it and feed them daily instead of putting out bales and letting them pull it apart for a few days and there's a lot less waste. So it goes a lot, lot goes a lot further than uh, just hay bales. And what about the cost of it? Well, we can grow a lot more of it per acre than we can of hay, so it's uh, quite a bit cheaper too. So it's more cost effective. Yeah. So we're just about to start our second year of uh, feeding corn silage to the cattle. Our goal is to feed silage to the sheep flock too. By us growing our own corn allows us to harvest corn silage. By allowing the cattle to graze the corn stalks, this reduces our feed costs as well as reduces the amount of labor required on a daily basis. The balance of our crop is then sold as cash crop. And the sale of the crop is what contributes to the reduction in our feed costs. 